market for, 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 for secondary office properties in, in CE is, is fairly dormant at the moment, isn't it? I mean, yeah. is that an opportunity uh, for, for international investors if, if they can get a nice portfolio yeah. Um, yeah. And, and work it? Yeah, so it's definitely the case. The investor interest is in core properties and office uh, in, uh, in retail and also mm -hmm. beginning in logistics, but everything else is still very, very quiet. And there's definitely an opportunity to buy core plus, maybe a good office building, a good location with short leases or uh, an office building where you have to refurbish something because prices are lower and probably will go even lower because there is hardly any demand. And we are discussing internally how can you get rid of B class or not so good property and probably the answer is to create a big portfolio and s try to sell it internationally to the Blackstones, etc., to make it big enough for them mm -hmm. to be attractive because otherwise single not good quality assets are almost unsellable at the moment. And so that's one opportunity we, we see and the other one is uh, really big properties. So like the Warsaw Financial Center you mentioned, mm -hmm. it's it, there was a lot of interest, but it's big and there's a yield differential between, if that w would have been half the size, we would say about 25 basis points the yield is higher there than it would be for a half size property. So at the moment, buying big properties, you can really get a nice price discount and maybe in one, two years when finance is more available, you have done something clever. Yeah, but I think, frankly spoken, I think a Warsaw Financial Centre will always get its financing. Yeah, but, I'm, but I'm, I'm 100% sure. Yeah, no, no I mean, yeah, I think a lot of investors are at the moment probably not willing to put in the, I do not know, 70, 80 million of equity, which is also a huge amount here. And I mean, we just spoke, um, coming back to the, to the, um, to the, to the, to the, to the sovereign wealth funds here, and I just spoke with a lady before the, before the meeting here, and uh, she clearly said, you know, I mean, if we are looking for real deal size, here. I mean, this would be a property definitely um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a value of 200 or probably exceeding 200 million euros. Yeah? But how many transactions can you have in Poland mm -hmm. of this size? And maybe it's two. It's Rondo 1, which is the other good office building, and the Warsaw Financial Center. And then um, maybe a shopping center here, um, but that's it. Here. So does it really make interest for sovereign wealth funds to buy one property in Poland, and that's yeah. it, and to keep it? If you ask me, no. Mm -hmm. I think it's not worth um, um, the hassle here mm -hmm. because you need management, you need everything for Poland and this for just one property. That's why I don't expect the sovereign wealth funds clearly um, to become active in Central Eastern Europe. Maybe mm -hmm. in Moscow, I do not know, mm -hmm. maybe, but I think it's uh, not their risk appetite mm -hmm. which they have on, on, on core markets and core buildings, mm -hmm. but the size-wise, I think um, Moscow would definitely fit into their criteria. Okay. And on the point of putting together a large portfolio of, of B-class buildings, is that something that uh, Halaba would uh, provide financing for? Um, let's say it this way. It's very difficult, it, but it, at the end I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it depends very much on the structure. Mm -hmm. You know, um, in the past the upside was with the investor, the downside was with the bank. This is something which has to change now. Um, when it comes to Warsaw, um, uh, on B-class office buildings, I would become very um, conservative simply for the reason of the pipeline mm -hmm. here, because for, 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 um, if you start building 100,000 square meters, yeah, you need 30, 40,000 of pre -led. Mm -hmm. And this at the moment is partly possible by new demand coming to the market, but at the end it will be also cannibalizing you know, and dragging mm -hmm. the tenants, whatever you know that their lease is expiring, mm -hmm. Maybe from the sub-markets like Mokotov, you know, more into the city center because at the moment rents are cheap. You need the pre-letting. They might get 12, 18, 12, uh, 24 months um, uh, rent-free periods incentives because the developer needs the first movers here. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think you will see that um, in the future B-class will suffer even more because tenants will rather move out here to new office buildings um, which are also attractive on the rental levels. Mm -hmm.